Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to the very first video for Rest Set. The objective with this store, for anyone that doesn't know, we've just started it. It's called Rest Set Apparel, and the idea is that I'm going to build it from the very beginning. We have no designs listed. I'm going to build it up. We're going to go through the whole process of designing shirts, figuring out marketing with things like Pinterest and Facebook. Um, and building the shop into an income stream. I'm not super good with Etsy. This is very much uh, a venture that's supposed to sort of push me to try a little bit harder with developing a niche shop and developing an income stream on Etsy. So I put out a poll on Instagram asking for some suggestions for designs. One of the things that came up that I thought was hilarious is Avocardio. The brand is themed around fitness, so it makes sense to look for some sort of fitness-themed design. And I love the idea of food, anthropomorphic food, kind of. You have a little cute avocado. I love making cute designs. And then it's just a play on the word cardio. So one thing I realized when I started researching this, um, I use a site, Merch Research, a lot. Check out Amazon. So if you search for avocado... There's quite a few designs already listed, somewhere in the range of 220. Um, as much as I'd love to just create a design that looks like this, there's there's so many up here, it'd be hard to be unique. So I just started looking around a little bit. If you search for avocado on Etsy, one thing that people love avocados for is the keto diet. Uh, because avocados are considered to size some to be kind of a superfood. They're super high in fat, which is perfect for keto. So, here's my idea. We take avocado and add a keto, like, basically just add the keto word to it. So it's like, I love keto and avocado, or uh, we gotta think of something creative, but put keto on the shirt, which is gonna make that emotional connection with uh, any customer that's into keto. Avocado is funny, it fits together. And then there's no competition. No one's doing this. Yeah, no one on merch either. So I think that's a good direction. First order of business is to figure out how we can create a cute avocado. The first thing I do is always just Google, like, cute avocado. Cute is sort of what I'm good at designing, so I tend to stick in the cute space. This level of complexity is a little bit beyond what I'm capable of. Avocado. I love this sort of thing with the cute little dude and his arms in the air. Images into a pain over here as inspiration. So we'll take that one. <laughs> Again, guy with his arms in the air. I love it. Like, this is good. This is a slightly different shape, slightly different angle. It'll help with kind of being able to come up with something unique by looking at a few different sources of inspiration. I'm not a huge fan of the ones that are just facing forward. I, I like the ones that are to the side and have the little bit of the side of the avocado showing. Yeah, let's, let's grab this. I think, honestly, this isn't a super complex thing to Ooh, <laughs> this is hilarious. <laughs> so the way I start with these always, I don't do any sort of sketching. It's pretty simple. I just jump into the pen tool. So it looks like we want to create sort of like a, a pear-shaped thing here. I think we'll use Photoshop's perspective tool to put it at an angle. It's a little easier to just draw it straight on and then put it at an angle. So you'll see that in a second. So the way I would approach this is probably freehand. I think freehand just adds a little bit of extra hand touch niceness to it. So the way the pen tool works for anyone familiar is you, you stab down a point, you make another point. If you just click, it creates a straight line. If you click and drag it creates these uh, curved lines so we'll just start at the top we'll come down like this and then angle out a little bit circle back at the bottom we want to make sure that we're kind of keeping below this center point just so it's somewhat symmetrical and then what I'm doing here is just making sure that we get a nice big bulbous bottom and yeah, we'll see how that works I'm gonna try and come up at around the same point on the other side 
start the other side of the pear shape here. Same for up here. We curve back in a little bit and then finish up at the top like so. That looks pretty good. It's not wide enough so I'm gonna go ahead and drag these points out a little bit. Make it wider. Our avocado is nice and big. Something like that. With the pen tool you get these little handles on each of the points to kind of guide how the curves are created. That's not bad. So this is a little bit imperfect. I don't know if you can tell, but it's got a nice... I can kind of feel the cartoony niceness to it, so... Okay, so we make a new layer. Select any color, doesn't matter, we'll recolor it. Paint it in. There we go, we have our avocado base. And so I mentioned earlier I was gonna put a little perspective on it. Uh, edit, transform, perspective. This just allows you to sort of 3Dify things. You can see how it's like going into and out of the screen. So we don't need much. We just gotta make it look like it's looking at us a little bit something like that maybe okay so you gotta choose an inner color um, I usually just start with the color from the inspiration something I don't really like how yellow that is I think something green based would be good maybe like that okay so let's get this out of here the next order of business is we need to put a little 3D effect on this. So we just want to draw the outside of the avocado. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory. We just trace along the outside edge here. Come back in at the bottom. I don't really know how to do this. Um, this is kind of like shading. Like it's one of those things where you just try your best to like make something that looks sort of decent, and it usually works out for me at least. So create another new layer. Put that one behind it. For this one, we need a super dark green color because this is the skin of the avocado. Oops. There's our dark green. The final thing is, from all the examples I've seen, they have some darker green outline along the edge. So the way we're going to accomplish that is just by opening up the blending options for that center layer. Just using some stroke on the inside, like so. We want to go with a slightly darker green. Yeah, something like that. One thing I don't like right now is that this outer layer looks kind of like a lime. <laughs> so uh, we'll just make it a little darker. I hmm, I think going dark is actually important here. So one thing we can do is just put a white stroke on the whole thing. I don't know if we'll keep this or not. We'll we'll go with it for now. Eh. Yeah. Okay. We'll figure that out in a second. So next thing we need to do is we need to create those cute little eyes. So this is pretty easy. Uh, you can look up any Japanese uh, like kawaii art style to understand how to do this. But I've done it a couple times now. So you just create a black circle. Fill it in. One of the hallmarks of the style and what makes it so cute is just a little white dot in the eye. Like that. And there's a couple ways to do it. I like to do two dots. So something like that. We'll group those layers together and call it eye. We'll just duplicate it. There with two eyes. You can already see how cute this is coming out. I like it. For the mouth, we just need something curved. I find the easiest way to do this is just to use the path tool again. 
So we'll just create something like this. Doesn't need to be perfect. In fact, it's probably better if it's not perfect. Uh, so we'll just stroke this with a brush. We don't want it to be so soft. Yeah, something harder like that. Create a new layer for the mouth. Um, you can see how big this brush is. Like that would be far too big. So we'll just make it a good size, something like that. So now that we have our brush selected, we just right click on our path, stroke path, boom. So it's white. I like to recolor layers like this with blending options. Just right click on the layer, go to blending options. You can use a color overlay, make it black. That smile might be creepy. I'm not. Uh, it's not terrible. It doesn't. It doesn't quite look excited enough. I don't know if he might look more excited once we create the arms and stuff. You know what? Actually, let's let's go for a kind of like an excited mouth, like this. So we still have the other mouth there if we want to use it. I'm gonna try this though. Just a circle. So it's kind of like a guy going, woo! I think this could work out. <laughs> oh, that's, that's okay. So next order of business is arms. This again is something like the more unique it is to you, the better. Don't really worry too much about what other people have done. Just create something cute. So I'll come up here with like a little arm like that. So there's arm number one. For number two, I think again I want this guy throwing his arms in the air. It just feels right for some reason. So we'll go like this. Create one more layer. Call it arm two. Stroke that path. Okay. I'm not sure white is the right color here. I think black could work great, except for the background issue. I saw some designs did the darker green skin. I think that actually makes a lot of sense because the arms are coming out of the avocado. I don't like how it makes the arm kind of blend in with the background here of the shell. Like I liked before, you could see the arm coming in. But we'll go with this for now. I'm going to move the arm layers to the back so they're behind the avocado. We'll make that one green as well. Okay, so we have our dude with his arms. Um, for legs, I'm gonna keep it really simple. I don't even think I'll have shoes. He's just gonna have two little stocks coming out the bottom here. So we need a leg layer. We'll call it leg one. Whoops. And we want these nice and curved. Okay, there's one leg, there's the other, oh, need a new layer, leg two, I put everything on its own layer as much as I can, because you never know what you're going to need to modify later, later, and since I'm not, since I'm working in raster and not vector, like, all this stuff is very permanent, oops, okay, so we'll go ahead and color those, the color of the avocado skin again. Like so, um, hmm. I don't like how these look that much. So we'll just, I think maybe, okay, I think they might be too far apart. Hmm. Actually, you know what I think is missing from these is maybe knees. Yeah, let's restart. So I think it'd be good if they had a distinctive bend, like a knee would. It might help sell the illusion that this guy's jumping as well. So we'll put in a little upper leg there, and then a lower leg. Let's see how that looks.
make that the color of the skin. Um, hmm, it's a little. Is it too big? If I just duplicate that real quick, just to see what this looks like. You can see this is just a ton of trial and error and stuff like this. I do like. Okay, I like this better. I think it needs to be maybe a little bit more curved. So we'll take a third shot at it. A little curved and a little bit shorter. Something like that. And then like that. So there's a, there's a distinctive bend there, but the leg's a little shorter. And you still have that knee. That looks pretty good. That looks good. So the question is, should the leg bend the same way, or should it be a reverse? I feel like, hmm, that kind of looks odd. Ah, does it? I think that looks right, actually. I'll make this leg a little bit lower, whoops. Make this leg a little bit lower so that it helps sell the illusion that the avocado is standing at an angle. I think by the same token this arm needs to be a little bit shorter as well. One thing I want to do, if you notice the outline in the middle of these is all very irregular which helps add to the cuteness of it. This one's not irregular at all. I, I like these better so let's just go ahead and trace our own little inner outline real quick. So I'll take that layer off. Um. Trying to figure out, okay, so the outline on this side would be thicker because of the angle. So we'll create a new layer. And this is where especially, you just have to be really rough with it. All right, stop, there we go. You want this to be sloppy. And you don't have to worry about getting the thickness exactly right. That's something that can be adjusted. So this is where it starts getting thinner. All right, just like that. So that's that's not bad. This is pretty much an imperfect process. Okay, so we already have our layer. I will go ahead and just fill in some color using that lime green. Um, one thing that sticks out to me right now is that this face is a little bit not in the right direction. If we just add some perspective to it to match the avocado, I think that helps. Another thing we can do is with the mouth, just to add some extra artistic flares, we can come in here with a little shadow, I don't know what you'd call this, shadow highlight thing. Just add some something something to the mouth. There, yeah, it adds some depth. I think that looks nice. Okay, so the seed. I'm going to make this super irregular. If I'm correct, avocado seeds are kind of egg-shaped. Oh, he's got a circle. I kind of prefer the circly, more circly seed shape. This one's a little big. So we'll kind of match the, the bulbous shape that we have going on down here. Um, and maybe to do this, we'll just start with a circle like this. And then what we'll do is we'll just distort this. I, I think there's multiple ways to do this. I just use the transform tool, turn on the grid, and then just play around with it a little bit. My computer's being a little bit laggy right now for some reason. All right, we have an avocado. Delete that layer out of there. I think that's good. 
there's no point in spending too much time perfecting this stuff because at the end of the day it's supposed to be imperfect and cute and it's going to be a little bit smaller surrounded by text it just doesn't need to be perfect so there we go we have an avocado so let me open up my handy dandy fonts file here and we'll pick out a font so for something like this i think we definitely want something cute and fluffy and fun so this high league font is interesting glorious is a great font i love this one let's try that out oops so avocado this font definitely has a cuteness to it one thing i also like about it is it the rigidity of it kind of feels like celery to me that that's just something that pops into my head which fits with the theme of health and uh keto and whatnot so i think this is a great font choice and we can really keep it pretty simple like that's just a nice simple shirt we probably don't want a white font it's a little bit jarring next to the avocado i don't like how the the green yellow color here matches so well that's not bad. I think maybe it's just a, a lighter green. I think that looks decent. Red is a hard color to do on the darker backgrounds because it, uh, you kind of have to go pink if you just go straight red it the it's a really jarring contrast and pink is not the same as red you know maybe we should consider okay l okay so let's let's do a couple versions here we have this green version we'll call that avocado one so we have one shirt that we can experiment with now let's try the design on a white background and the reason I'm thinking white might be interesting is because we can take this, we can get rid of that stroke that's sort of been bugging me. We'll again rasterize this dude, and we'll just take our font. Okay, so the reason we're on the white here is that I think that this text might look good black. Eh, it looks alright. I think being on a white shirt, the whole thing doesn't look quite as fun and cute for some reason. We could experiment with having the avocado above the font. That's not bad. That's not too bad. Alright, don't think about this stuff too much. If you have the slots on merch especially, just, just make something and throw it up. If you start to overthink it, then everything falls apart. Um, so let's crank out a couple more variations before we end this. Actually, I'll tell you what, let's just do one. So we'll do keto and avocardio. I don't want to make this too long. So we'll duplicate this layer. We'll call it keto and avocardio. And add in a slight variation here. So we'll switch back to the darker background. I like that. Let's say keto. And then we'll just do the classic text at the top, text at the bottom. At the bottom we have avocardio. See that doesn't quite fit, so we'll just make it a little smaller. I think we'll add a slight, ever so slight arc to this. Just to give it a little bit of style. Do the same for the top. Although with four letters like that, you really can't do much of an arc. It works better on the longer words. That looks good. We're going to need to make this guy a lot smaller to make room for the... We don't want to make him that small. We need to make room for the word and. You know what? And we want to make these font sizes match. 1654 pixels. Alright. And Photoshop is sort of snapping this to the center for me not perfect but it usually gets close enough okay we'll just duplicate this so I'm gonna switch over to the variation of glorious called script and then we'll just put the word and in there
All right, that'll do it. Hey, thank you so much for watching. Please drop a like down below if you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe for more content. I'll try and post these things somewhat regularly. In the meantime, you can always check me out on Instagram. I'm Zach Knickerbocker. I'll put a link down in the description. That's a wrap.